everyone, it's Sharon here. I'm back with another video for Craft Stash. Today I've got a card featuring the Creative Dies Plus Stitched and Pierced Nesting Bunting die set. Here you can see the lovely bunting. This die set is part of a range of dies. There are 13 different sets in this particular range of the um, Stitched and Pierced Nesting dies. Um, there are two different circle sets, triangles, two different oval sets, two different heart sets, a star set, tags, two different rectangle sets, squares, and then the bunting set that I'm using today. What's great about these dies is that within the set, so you can see for this particular set there are five dies, but alternate dies have either stitched or pierced detailing around the edge which I think really gives a nice look to your projects. So I'm going to crack on with the card and I've, I'm going to create um, bunting across this card. So I'm starting off by drawing kind of what would be the string for the bunting and I'm just doing this with a black pen and then I'm going to draw little bows at the ends. You won't really see much of this once I finish the card, but just the bows on the ends, really. But it gives me a bit of a guide to, to work out where to place my bunting. And rather than just have the bunting on the card, I thought that might be a bit plain. So I've decided to create a bit of a background and I'm using this Lawn Fawn Spring Showers die set. It's got some clouds that have got a stitch detailing around them. So I thought they'd go perfectly with this bunting. I've die cut these from some blue vellum and I've done one of each size. There are three different dies in this set and I'm going to place these in the background. Now the only problem with using vellum obviously is the glue. It's always a bit tricky and it's always um, a bit of a challenge to work out how to stick the vellum to your card without the glue showing. So I'm using a Zig two-way glue pen and what I'm doing is just doing tiny dots of glue all around behind where the stitch detail is on these dies. And I'm hoping that will cover it enough. Um, on this particular large cloud to the left, um, the bunting will cover that edge. So I've been able to put a bit more glue on that area. So I'm just going around each one with tiny dots. Obviously the vellum isn't sort of heavy, so you don't need a lot of glue. So hopefully this technique is going to disguise it well enough. And I'm putting acrylic blocks down on, on top of these as I do them, just so that it holds it in place while the glue dries. So I've popped those to one side, and now I'm going to stamp a greeting that will be on the centre larger bunting. The stamp set I'm using is an Apple Blossom stamp set called Daisy Chain Sentiments. It's got some really lovely sentiments to cover all sorts of occasions and I really like the font on them. And the one I've chosen for this card says have the best day ever and I thought that would be quite nice. This, this card then could be used for all sorts of occasions. I'm stamping it onto this craft card with some Versamark ink and now I'm going to use some white embossing powder. I'm using Wow Bright White um, Super Fine Embossing Powder. And I'm just letting my heat gun heat up before I bring it to the card so that it's nice and hot and I don't get too much warping. And I just love the look of white embossing on craft. It's one of my favorite things. So I'm just going to line that up and run that through my die cutting machine. And that looks perfect for my centerpiece. And now I'm going to cut the smallest die from this set from some polka dot papers. These are digital papers from the lovely studio. And I've die cut two of each colour. So I've got um, a light pink, a dark pink, or bright pink really, and a, a pale green. And I'm going to follow my string line that I've drawn to get these in place. I'm starting with the centre one and I want that kind of fairly straight hanging down and then for the rest I'm going to overlap them slightly and I'm going to stick them down with a combination of foam pads or glue so that just to give a bit of dimension so some of them will be flat on the card and some will be raised up just makes it a little bit more interesting and makes it easier to overlap them a bit as well. 
So I'm placing this one with glue. And then I'll use foam pads for the other two on this side. And I'll tuck it under the, the centre one and just overlapping the pale pink one. And as you can see, the only bit of that string you can really see is that it's the bows at the top, really. And then I'm going to do the same the other side, but I'm going to mix the colours up a little bit. And this time I'm going to put the pale pink one down flat and then the other two will be raised up. And that's my card finished. I really love these nesting dies. I think they're they're really useful and would be great. The larger the larger dies in the set I think would be great for putting greetings on. You can find details of all the products I've used in the description box on YouTube. You can also pop over to the Craft Stash website to find to find all the dies in this collection and that's www.craftstash.co.uk. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope to see you soon. Bye.